So I can just read from the auto queue, yes? Okay, good. Hello, I am Rick Van Griegen, and today I'm going to be telling you all about my career in the entertainment industry. Mostly though, I'll be telling you why my career failed. Wait, what? Yes, no, yeah, I know I already signed a contract, but... But I'm not gonna just sit here and make fun of my own career for no reason. We can shove it up your... My first big project was a sitcom I made for NBC. It turned out to be quite a phenomenon. I really feel like that show made an impact on the world. After how long was it cancelled again? Three days. Now the reason that show got cancelled was because the creators of another show, I think it was something called like Friends or something like that, I've never heard of it, but they said our show resembled their show too much. I would have thought it was cancelled because the show was shit, but... Why don't you sod off? I hate directors. Now when we finished making that rather fantastic show, the BBC asked me to develop a car show for them. So I did. This is a Peugeot 108. It's a four-seater hatchback made in France. It has over 50 horsepower and can do 97 miles an hour. The thing is, why would you pay thousands and thousands of pounds more for something stupid like a Ferrari or an Aston Martin when you can have this? It's magnificent. Why did they drop you as a presenter? Because I don't have a driver's license. <clears throat> After that, I want to experience an entirely different form of filmmaking, so I decided to turn into a completely different genre. Horror. So I decided to make my own horror movie, naturally. The Blair Bitch Project. I've been in here for six hours now. I think John's dead. I... I don't know what's outside, but... No. It's coming. No! No! And after that movie failed... It didn't fail. The box office statistics were just a little disappointing. Didn't it lose like $400,000, you know, even though the movie only cost like $1,200 to produce? My lawyer has told me I'm not allowed to answer that question, so... After that, Omru Brahmans, a massive company about as big as Warner Brothers, asked me to develop an action movie for them. So I did. I guess it's up to me then to dismantle this bomb. I can do it. I know I can. As long as it's one of those bombs that you can dismantle with a hammer. Ah! Oh no! After that movie failed, I lost sight of myself. I was depressed. I got caught in activity that a guy like me just shouldn't be doing. Though this picture did actually end up winning second place at the Sony Photography Awards. So suck on that! After that, I decided to rethink my career for a little bit. And by uh, rethinking your career, you mean starring in cheap and pointless commercials for daytime television? Well... They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. 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 Trying to catch me riding dirty.
You do realise, don't you, that that was just absolute garbage. Right. That's it. You're a complete and utter ginger f Oh, God, I hate this job.